Real sisters talking. Real sisters talking. What do you want to know about? We're talking. Real sisters talking. Real sisters talking. What do you want to know about? We're talking. Real sisters talking. Real sisters talking. What do you want to know about? We're talking. And I'm Renee. And I'm Ella. And I'm Millie. I just want you guys to know, I have been having the hardest time finding my bra. All the bra stores have just oh closed God. up and went out of business. Didn't they? I don't understand it. Oh. <laughs> I used to be able to wear the ones you go in the store when I was a little small and I stick the pants in a bra to match and just put it on and didn't care. But now, I, I used to go to Lulu's. Lulu's was on 15 Mile and Lasher, and they had the older ladies in there, and oh, they'd yeah. take you in the room, and they'd be poking. they get you fitted. Oh, no, honey, you can't wear this. <laughs> <laughs> be poking. Oh, no, it's sticking out on the side. <laughs> but then they closed up, and then we went to Tina Marie's. On Southfield, which closed oh, also. My God. And they had one downtown Detroit, too. But they closed up. Mm -hmm. Then there was Broad, Broad World. World. Y'all didn't ever have no problem with it? We was little at the time. You no, know, I... You mean your chest was little? Yes. Because I'm the youngest. No, <laughs> I... <laughs> it was a little sad. Oh. I've never had that problem. I have I have perfect, perky breasts. <laughs> Don't believe that. And then she woke up. Well, <laughs> anyway, bra world closed. Yeah, bra world closed. And then they asked you to order online. Oh, my God. That was a disaster. First of all... Run different sizes yeah. and shapes. You can't order no bra you don't need online to be and expect it to and that's one work thing properly. I've always hated about if you get one brand, you get this size. You get another brand, but who wants to go in the store and try on a bunch of bras? Then you think people can try on a bunch of bras and you don't want to try them on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true too. But you have to, you know, to right. get something to work. And then there's that radio personality. He says, all women, just take off your bras. <laughs> Don't wear nothing. I can't do that. <laughs> well, there had been a study, and I think, I'm not sure, if it was a French study about they were saying that women shouldn't wear bras. You know, and but then, then it, it, was, it was controversy, because some people should wear it, because if you don't wear a bra, it stretches the ligaments in your breasts, and that's what makes them. And could right. you see me jogging? Pop, pop. <laughs> No. I'd be knocked out on the side We'd of the road. We'd have to send you to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not talking about going without mine. <laughs> That's that radio personality. You always talking about women, just take off your bras. And it's like, is he crazy? Yeah, he was He was saying that, um, that this, this study they had taken, right, women was study. getting breast cancer from bras. But Yeah. I don't believe that. Well, they was trying to say the unfair causes um, can increase the chances of uh, cancer. What what don't increase the chances? But I can't go brothers. Because <laughs> of it. it would I, not be a pretty <laughs> 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 Eyes black. No. You're gonna have a lot of deaths with people running around. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then they have so many types of bras. You know. Um, you got your workout bra, your exercise bra. You got um, um, a bra you might want to be dressy in. But I uh, never understood that, that exercise bra because it don't seem like it holds anything, really. It, it really does It keeps them from, when you're working out, when you run like on a treadmill, it keeps them from bouncing up and down. Uh, so it's kind not of if you're real big. Them. No, it's it not doesn't if you're real do big. It doesn't. And I read it go in a Section 8 roll. <laughs> 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 That when you're exercising, the, it's not really bouncing up and down. It's like like a section eight. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but oh my, oh my God! But we we're gonna have to find something, and we're gonna have to do something because um, we need no. Bras. We want a good fit. Yes, we want to feel good. We want we, our backs to feel good. We want our shoulders to feel good. We want our neck to feel good. Yeah, and I we want to look good. I kind of wonder true. where it originated from. I didn't think of, you know, like where, who, when, when did the first bra even come on the scene? Well, they don't wear them in Africa, do they? <laughs> <laughs> Some tribes. 
Yeah, some of them don't, but it just makes you want it now that I'm thinking about it. They don't look all sad either. I mean, where did it come from? Yeah, that's true. And why whoever invented it invented it? His last name was probably Bra. <laughs> Probably, the fact that he's a he worries me. Probably, probably because do you don't want your oh, breast touching right here because it sweats. No, I hate that feeling. So yeah, I don't like that either. Keep them lifted. But like you said, like when I watch those shows on the History Channel or whatever, they're not sagging that much, really, unless they're ninety. They probably get a lot of exercise though, no, because they be out doing different things. Well, you know, <laughs> they had corsets and. They strung their stuff up real tight, you know. Well, I guess. Yeah, maybe that corset, corset that they tied helped hold them up. Ain't no African woman had though. no corset. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have no corset. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never seen no African woman. I'm talking about in cowboy days, you know how they look. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah and yeah. that, I guess that would be it how would help kind hold of. Them up, I think. Yeah, because yeah. they didn't have the straps that hurt our shoulders as we oh, do they now. Had, um, all the things that kept course and you got the little bars. Um, the bustiers. Bustiers. Right? Yeah. 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 But right. and they didn't have you know, they didn't have those marks on their shoulders. Because when you have larger okay. breasts, oh, if you yeah. you know, you can get those bras and it's like I don't think that it should be weighing on your shoulders as such. It's something something has to be done. That's I agree. Of, you agree to as mm -hmm. well? A I breast reduction. <laughs> I don't believe in <laughs> unnecessary surgery either. You know, God made me. Everybody is trying to get these. Why would I try That's to get true. them? <laughs> that, that is true. That is. Why true. would I try? Well, to get them? it don't seem like our Aunt Dolores had any problem with those brushes. <laughs> they were huge, and they was always pointing out like cones. <laughs> Where did those bras come from? Those oh, I hate ones? them. Oh, maybe oh we God. should ask no, her. No, those awful. were so ugly. I don't know about her. But the person <laughs> that you're talking about does have back problems. Oh, uh, because I know she used to hug me and always put my eye out. <laughs> that is not nice for me. <laughs> she wouldn't <laughs> So, the thing is, we need to find somebody who can help us with this situation all jokes aside really it is a serious issue it is and a serious that um that all the stores are going out of business that you can't you know get fitted right you know I, every time i go buy a new bra i get fitted and i still end up with a different size and the, you know because your body just constantly changing Change. so it's like we need to find somebody and we need to find somebody that um is in the business and is going to be in the business for a while because this I don't like um all the time going, going over places. the internet and going to different I places. Like I know I need to try it on and I know someone who ordered a bra and then got her um her got her credit card number stolen and it was twice because she tried her again thinking maybe it wasn't her. Right. And then it happened again and then you know, what are you to do? She's scared now. She don't know what to do. <laughs> so, okay. Sounds like we need a bra doctor. <laughs> <laughs> doctor, doctor. I think so. And, um, um, how much do you think a bra is worth, though? I mean, how much are you willing to pay for a bra? Well, that, you know, how much have I paid? No, it's not just how much. Well, I want to know how much have you paid. I have paid like $75. And I, um, and I know. I think out of all of us, I've paid the most. I've probably paid at least $120. Bro. And if I, I don't know. For I one, bro. And for one bra. you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm still buying that bra because it makes me feel good. I like the way it looks. So that's nothing to me. Well, honestly. see, that's what I'm saying. That's why I said, how much would you be willing to, you know? I guess if it works for you, right. the comfort level. Now yeah. I think if I had to go and pay two hundred, I'd probably get me some material and some <laughs> stuff and start trying to make me one. <laughs> <laughs> we could oh. probably do it, but probably could. But so many other things we do. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so 
that's what we need to do. We're going to find somebody. We're going to um, get them to be measure us. We're going to get them to... I need these. I need something that these that I don't get these marks on my yeah, shoulders. They leave, you can't have to. You wear something. Like, you wear if a low-cut dress and you got marks on your shoulders. It that's, is awful. Yeah, it's not if you go braless and wear half a bra, you see that? Because you got dents here. It's dark there. And it don't look good. My do your shoulder. back bother you? Sometimes my back does. Well, my back don't bother me. Sometimes mine does. <laughs> but that's probably a combination of the computer all day and these. <laughs> and those girls. The girls. Oh, yeah, that's what they call. Okay, so um, we're going to go find the bra doctor and bring her here to help us all out. Okay. okay. All right, so. All right. We'll be right back, guys, and um, we'll have the breast doctor, the bra doctor, excuse me, and she'll come and she'll help us all out. And maybe she can help you guys out, too, because I'm sure you need some new bras, too. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. To Real Sisters Talking. Now, we went and found us a bra doctor. <laughs> Her name is Regina Lewis Riddle. And she's going to tell us all about the why we should wear the right size bra. She's going to help me with these black strut, these black marks on my shoulders. <laughs> and she's going to just tell us about breath, breast health and what we can do to be healthier. So this is Mrs. Regina Lewis Riddle. Hello, ladies. Hi. The panel. Hi. Hi. How are you all? Good, thank Very you. Good. I can see that some of you need me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you all for having me to your uh, program. I'm so honored to be a part of this. It's such a great opportunity to share what I do and why I do it. Uh, I am with Essential Body Wear, which is a Michigan-based company started by two women here in uh, Michigan. And um, we start off as bra ladies, and that's what we all are. We are bra ladies. But I have elevated myself uh, to my own persona as the bra doctor. Uh, why did I do that? Because I have a BHD, which is a breast health doctor. And uh, though I, I jest about that, but I'm very serious about taking care of the breast tissue. I am the youngest of four girls, and I have uh, two sisters that are living, one sister that passed away from breast cancer. Mm -hmm. She was diagnosed at 32 in 1988 with um, stage 3 over to stage 4 breast cancer. Then in 1999, I had a sister who was diagnosed with breast cancer. And I myself found my very first lump when I was 18 years old. And so I have had four breast biopsies. Oh so I do not play around with breast tissue because it's very important. It, I have what we call dense breast tissue. So not only do I get my mammogram twice a year, but I also, also go in and have to have a MRI, which is a deeper uh, magnetic res right. Well, you would know that, wouldn't you, oh, my yes, phlebotomist sister? <laughs> so it's, it's just a deeper uh, in, uh, picture of what's right. going on within, within my breast. Right. Can I ask you a question? Yes, you may. Um, is, there is a rumor saying that um, the underwire helps to um, increase. increase the development of breast cancer well, if you're wearing an underwire. I am not a quote, doctor, but as a breast health doctor, I do a lot of research and study, and it, there's some evidence leaning toward that, that because there are, there's a wire underneath there, and that's so close to the breast tissue and lymph nodes, that it has, there's no, I don't believe there's documented proof yet, but there's right. some strong evidence leaning toward that. So the bras that I carry at Essential Body Wear, we do have an underwire bra, but it's plastic. Okay. So therefore, it does not have the metal and it does not interfere or interrupt with any kind of uh, right. um, lymph nodes. And we also carry a bra uh, that has no wire at all and it gives equally as much support as the one with the underwire. Right, okay. Because I was going to ask you, was there a difference? Because um, I have been wearing a lot of underwire mm -hmm. because they 
seem to, I don't know, give me more support su better. Yeah, more they do. I, I, I personally wear a, an underwire bra. I just like the, the way it fits, but I've also worn our, the bra that I'm wearing now. It's called the, the Abbey. It's our number one bra. It's the workhorse bra of our product. We call that my nine to five because one of the first things you do when you get up in the morning, you put your bra on, and if your bra is really doing what it's supposed to be doing, mm -hmm. you should not feel it. Right. And one of the mm -hmm. one of the number one things uh, about women, eighty five percent of women, almost ninety percent of women are wearing the wrong bra. How I agree. I, how do you I agree? know? Yeah. How do I know? If how do I'm you know? The wrong you can look well, at them. if you can, well, one, you can look at them until. <laughs> well, just oh. to a <laughs> but two, if you find yourself throughout the course of the day, doing this, okay, pulling oh, it down, okay. uh, leaning over. You're in an ill-fitting bra. If that bra is doing what it's supposed to be doing, you don't know it's on because it's sitting in the right spot. It's sitting in the right place. And there are two things women do. Well, we usually do when we get home if we, we, we may kiss our mate or whatever. But <laughs> one of the very first things we do is we, can you get a picture of my feet there? We kick the dogs <laughs> off. We, we have our shoes. We kick, our, we kick the shoes off because Take we've been standing on our feet all day long. And we, I say, let the girls out because that's what, if your bra has really been doing what it's supposed to be doing, you've been working, you've been lifting, you, you've had that bra on from maybe 7 o'clock. Some women get up and go to work at 5 right. all the way to 12 right. at all 9. Right. So, okay. Um, so, um, you want to measure? Oh, I would oh, okay. love to. Okay. Do I have some of it you I can use? You know what? We, um. We, we're going to take a break, okay? and then we're going to come back and we're going to measure her, and then she can go. Oh, I'm going to measure Millie? Yes, we're going to measure of Millie. Of course. <laughs> well, what I'd like Millie to do is, I know this is a crazy little group. I'd like you to find your nipples and put these little stickers on there. <laughs> can you do that for me? Do it matter what color? Uh, no, it doesn't matter. Oh, Just Okay. So um, while, while she's doing that, yeah, while mm -hmm. Millie's doing that, then um, we'll be back. Welcome back to Real Sisters Talking. Now we have the bra doctor, and she's going to measure my sister Millie, and we're going to get down to some business about breast health and see what she can do for Millie and make the changes. Well, what I've asked Millie to do is to find her nipples. I know this is a crazy enough group, that, so that's not a hard question. She has found her nipple. She has placed these little happy, smiley faces on there herself. Uh, are you okay? Uh, <laughs> and then I'm going to measure her. I'm going to go right underneath her current bra she has on. I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath and blow it all out because that's what you want to really see, how, much, how big that rib cage is. What size bra do you normally wear? Uh, 38C. A 38C. That's what, they said. That's what she's. Are you telling her no? Yeah. Well, she said a 38C. Well, I'm just telling you what they tell this me. Is, and so I want you to see that a 38 band, this oh is where God. she would be. So I'm going to measure you here to make you comfortable. Well, you I'm going to give you this, uh, and I'm going to measure across here 36. I want you to please take my bra. This is the Abby bra, our number one workhorse bra, and try this on. And I'll tell you what size that is a little bit later. See All you right. later. All right. Bye, Millie. Goodbye, girl. Try not to lose those dots. <laughs> so while she's gone, Miss Regina, what can we do about the marks on my shoulders? It, 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 I did get a new bra, and so it's better. But um, I need, I need. The support and I need them it not to be on my shoulders I read somewhere that people get headaches and shoulder oh my pains gosh. from wearing the wrong bras I have worked with chiropractors massage therapists uh, OBGYNs and breast doctors that talk about what can happen when you're wearing an ill-fitting bra your neck hurts there's back strain there are deep indentations in your shoulders and some of that you have to wait for that to go away and some of that you may need to go see a, a dermatologist to, to help them give you some cream to help lighten that up because those straps have created grooves in your yes. shoulders yes, and that exactly. means your bre your breasts are weighty and they're very yes, heavy they 
So, uh, and when you're running and, and you, oh, yeah. you need to really, I call them lock and load. You need to strap <laughs> those babies down because it can create so much tension and right, stress and, and pull on that breast tissue. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I have a um, question. Um, how long should a bra last? Well, I can't tell you how long an average bra should last, but I can well, tell you yes. how long our bras last. Mm -hmm. Our bras last on average anywhere from two to three years, if I, and I can show you how to wear it mm -hmm. and how to rotate it mm -hmm. so that you can get the longevity out of that bra. Well, I, I just want to say that I have on one of your bras, and it is the most comfortable bra I've ever worn. Well, yes, it is. <laughs> you don't even feel like you have it on. Nice and perky. That's right. <laughs> My goal is to help get your girls. On my doctor bag, it says, what does it say? Could you read that for me? Let me help get the girls closer to your face and not to your waist. <laughs> so that's my little story. Isn't that cute? <laughs> no, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the last time we bought bras, they said, wash them every yes, night. Right. Gave us this little stuff that you powder and stuff. And right, that you wash them with. And they said to keep the shape, you have to wash them every night. Uh, I don't know who gave you that bra. I don't know who gave you that tip. But when we come back, I can, I can actually show you how we take care of our bras the right way. Okay. That works for me. So we'll be right back. Go ahead, Charlotte. Welcome back. Um, we're going to talk to um, Regina about uh, first of all, how often should we get measured? Because we um, are waiting for Millie to get her bra on and come back. That's a good question. Um, many times you go through some traumatic things in your life. If you've had gastric bypass surgery or if you've gone through some stressful times, uh, I would honestly say every six months it's almost like getting your teeth clean uh, mm -hmm. that you should you should be measured because your body changes and if you we fluctuate we do some of us do a lot of crash dieting some of us don't but I just say to make sure that you get that right fit and in, your body will tell you be and your bra will tell you if you if you're doing this and mm -hmm. you're pulling it down something's not right right yeah so how do you usually get the word out there about you being the bra doctor and getting your bras out there well essential body wear is a great company I said Michigan based I have my own website. I have uh, I have a Facebook page, but the key thing about these uh, part I do parties. I go to work and I have a party. Right. I throw bra parties. I come to your home and privately fit you. You can come to my boutique in my home and privately fit. I go to workplaces and I fit. Uh, I've gone to uh, gyms. I've gone to. Uh, I won't name certain right, companies, right, right, but right. I've gone to certain companies where they've asked me, spas have asked me to come in and fit women. And once we do, I mean, women are amazed because you can have on the best clothes in the world, some of the best name brand clothes, but if you're not wearing that right bra, I agree. it, it just won't look right. It's not the best I agree. you can be. It's best. not the best Here come Millie now. Oh, and I let the bra speak oh, for itself. Oh, Millie. Oh, oh my, wow. Millie. That looks Millie, 100 percent better. Did you move those dots on there? That's no, where your I nipples were not. before. Oh and my it goodness! Fabulous. Why well, did you lose a lot of Your shirt too. hangs a <laughs> lot differently as well. Well, what I want to tell you about this is, you saw her put the the dots on. Right. I, I choose not to do that because women always say, "Did you did you do something magic?" <laughs> no, the bra speaks for itself. Right. What happens is one breast is usually larger than the others. One hand is larger than the other. We fit to the larger breast. And as you can see, she's turned, and already she's got the shape that she's, that's in there that's been hidden. That that's I was right. born with. That you were born with. <laughs> <laughs> because rule of thumb is that right. if she bends her elbow, your nipple should be between your shoulder and your elbow. Okay? Mm. So that's where her nipple was. So we're going to guess that that nipple is probably right about in through here, and that's right mid where it should be. If you turn sideways so they can see that. So what we do is we want you to make sure that you get the perfect fit. And so what happens is I've given her a $10,000 breast augmentation <laughs> for, <laughs> 70, a bunch of money. for $70. <laughs> All our bras are $70. So um, what you see is we take care of the breast. And if there's any back fat, if there's a, we we don't take care of the rest. But as you can see, there is none. This is a smooth, smooth line mm -hmm. all the way back. Right. So I'm very pleased. 
Uh, those dots will create a lot of questions for you. You can take them off now. <laughs> <laughs> so, but and she's already standing taller. And how do you feel? It feels really, it actually feels like you're really not wearing one. It's very soft. It's not tight. It feels good. It's very, very comfortable. I feel young again. <laughs> I don't think it did all of that. She's not a surgeon. No. Just the doctor. (laughs) But let me tell you both, all of you, how to keep that bra and how I said you can get some life out of that bra. When you wear a bra, we all have our favorite bra and I and I know we do I I had a a ratty bra in here and I just I thought it was too bad (laughs) you wear this bra all the time it's my favorite bra you wear it every day well you shouldn't wear your bra every day ladies we don't wear our undergarments every day at least hopefully we don't (laughs) so what you do is we say you take three bras and you rotate them and I'm going to move this one just for a moment three bras and you rotate them this is my Monday bra this is my Tuesday and this is my Wednesday. So this becomes Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So what I'll show you is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If you've been in that bra all day long on Monday mm-hmm. and you go home and you relax and you take your shower and you get it up in the morning, you take your shower. If your bra could talk, it would say, Please don't pick me. I worked so hard for you yesterday. I was I held you up for 14 hours. Go to somebody else. So that's why we say this is the Tuesday bra and this is the Wednesday bra. So they rotate. So how many days in a month? 30. 10, 20, 30. I've only worn this bra 10 times out of the month. Mm-hmm. This one 10 and that one 10. Mm. So I rotate it. So I don't have to wash it every day because I'm clean when I put my bra on. I get a little dewy under the lights, but I don't. (laughs) I glow. Uh, So what I'm saying is. The question, though, when I this, I was actually told we brought bras, and it was like you wash it every night. No, I that might be the bra that you purchased, but my essential body wear bra is not that type of bra. You can wash this bra since I've only worn it 10, 20, 30. I could wash these bras by themselves on a gentle cycle in the washing machine once every three to four weeks. I don't wash them with blue jeans. I only wash them with lightweight lingerie. And so these bras, then they dry overnight. Now I'm going to ask you a quick question. You put them in a dryer? No, they dry overnight. I'm going to ask you a quick question. How are your uh, bras in your drawer at home? Because you do them like this, don't you? Because that makes more room, right? Right. Yeah. No, I don't. I I hang mine. I do. You hang your, you, Millie. (laughs) I put mine in there. You need me. You need me. Does your breast look like that in the morning? (laughs) I hope not. So what you want to do is you want to lay your bras in the drawer just like this. When you spend seventy dollars, I heard right. you say one hundred and twenty. Yeah. Right. That's an investment yes. in your breast. It right. really is. So you want to take care of that bra. But yours lay like that and by so, itself. Well, yes, it does. But it you should make like that, sure that right. they lay that way. And so yeah. when you wash them, after you finish washing them, you either hang them up this oh, way, you. or you yeah, hang them so that way. Ain't nobody in here. You hang them <laughs> no, that you way, that but you right do here. not <laughs> hang them this way because you're pulling on the strap. Therefore, you're at breaking down the integrity. Right. The other thing, when you put your bra on. 90% of any the support of any good bra is in the band. It's True. 5% in the strap, 5% in the underwi- underwire. So when you put your bra on, this is how you normally do it, isn't it, ladies? You put yeah. it on like this, mm-hmm. and you turn it around like right. that. Well, you're breaking down the integrity of the band already. You should get your 5 or 20 minutes exercise in the morning. You put the bra on this way, you put it on this way, and you work on your flexibility and dexterity, and you oh, work, and work and work and well, work because you- that is how you save the life well, you know, of your I bra. I just put mine on like this, and I fasten it first, and then pull, pull it up. up. Okay, yeah. that's a smart way of doing it. Yeah. You're just r- Renee. <laughs> are so smart. So I'm trying to teach you how to keep the life of this bra. And then what you do is when you put the bra on, Millie has that bra on on the first rung. Mm-hmm. So you go six months on right. that rung, right. six months on that rung, mm-hmm. and six months on this rung. All my smart mathematicians, how long is that? I know, it's a year and a half. A year and a half. Oh, Oh, did you really want us to ask? I thought it was rhetorical. Then you move after six months to the second one and six six months months to the third. Yes, but when you're rotating them, you're six months on that bra, 
six months on that one right. and six months there. So that's a year and a half out of those bras for the first year. Right, because so you get a year and a half. That's right, bra. because that's they stretch the band right. is mm -hmm. going to lose. So then you're going to move it to the second rung. After so then that one. that would be a year and a half, year and a half, year and a half. That'd be two, three years. Right. Oh, that's okay. funny. I always thought, though, they had three on them in case you gained a little weight or well, lose weight. Well, if you do gain a little weight, weight too, if you do gain a little weight, we do have what I call, I have it in my bag. We have some little extenders. My, you looked in the doctor bag. We do no, have. No, actually on the website. Great. Uh -huh. We do have website. extenders in case some people do go up and down and fluctuate with that weight. So, you know, so it you happens. The extender is quite simple. It's, uh, I'll show it on the, on the clear one. On I this see, I don't one. know a thing about a bra. I see, I see oh you don't, but, she don't know uh, a thing about, a thing it. about a bra, but I see here, this is the doctor trying to do this without her glasses on or her contacts in because she wants to look beautiful for the camera. <laughs> so that extends that bra, all right? So it goes around just a little bit because if you do, some backs are a little wider, but the cup is smaller, all right? So what you want to make sure is if you're a C cup, you get the right cup. But that band, you might need a little more. You Zoom. might be that Does little Does the extender wider. come with the bras? Or you no, sell you, we sell them separately. Okay. So I just wanted to show you how you can get uh, a we few years no out so of the I life of this bra. I don't understand, though. Okay. <laughs> the extender, if you buy the right size of bra, you wouldn't need an extender. Yeah, but you, right. gain, you might but gain you might, weight. You might gain weight. If you don't gain the weight here, we don't do that. So with that being said, ladies, I can uh, just go to my website. Check me out. Yes. And um, so... You are on Facebook page. Yes, I am. The Broad um, Doctor. I have, okay. Oh, but and so um, we want to thank Miss Regina for joining yes, us today do. and thank teaching you, us all about bra health and about wearing the right bra. This is like awesome. We really, really thank you. Thank you. And I definitely maybe we thank can, you. <laughs> yes. You maybe we can it. have you back again and you can talk more about to. the health. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for watching us, and we'll see you next time. Real Sisters Talking. Real Sisters Talking. What do you want to know about? We're talking. Real Sisters Talking. Real Sisters Talking. What do you want to know about? We're talking, real sisters talking, real sisters talking. What do you want to know about? We're talking, real sisters talking, real sisters talking. What do you want to know about? We're talking.